Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is 8 power x plus 27 power x over 12 power x plus 18 power x is equal to 7 over 6. To find the values of x from this equation. Now, in the first step, we will change this 8, 8 into exponent. 8 is same as 2 power of 3, then bracket this power of x plus 27 is same as 3 power of 3, then bracket this power of x, then over. From here, 12. 12 is same as 4 times 3, whereas 4, 4 it is 2 square times 3, then bracket this power of x plus 18. 18 is same as 2 times 9, so it will be 2 times 9 is same as 3 square. Then bracket this power of x is equal to 7 over 6. Then in the next step, from here, we'll exchange the powers. So from this exponent, this exponent here and here, we'll apply exponential rule, which is a power of m bracket power of n is equal to a power of m times n, it is m n is equal to a power of n, we take inside the bracket, power of m, we take outside the bracket. So it will be a power of n inside power of m outside the bracket. So from this rule here, into this part here, we'll take power of x inside, power of 3 outside. So it will be 2 power of x bracket power of 3 outside the bracket plus same as here, we'll take power of x inside, power of 3 outside. So it will be 3 power of x bracket power of 3 outside the bracket. Then over, from here, we'll take power of x inside. So it will be 2 power of 2x. Then 2 power of 2x is same as 2 power of x inside the bracket power of 2 because 2x is same as x times 2. Then times, here we'll take power of x inside so it will be times 3 power of x. So here 3 power of x. Then plus, from here we'll take this power of x inside so it will be 2 power of x. So here 2 power of x times, into here we'll take this power of x inside so it will be 3 power of 2x then it will be 3 power of x inside the bracket, power of 2 outside the bracket. Because in here now we can see power of 2, 2 power of x, 2 power of x is common, and here 2 power of x, and 3 power of x, 3 power of x, 3 power of x. Then it is equal to this 7 over 6. So 7 over 6. Then in the next step, now we will let a is equal to 2 power of x, 2 power of x, this. And b is equal to 3 power of x. Then it will be a power of 3, so here a power of 3 plus b power of 3, b power of 3, then over a square, so a square times b, then plus a times b square. So b square is equal to 7 over 6. Then in the next step, from here a power 3 plus b power 3, this is in the form of a perfect cube. So this is same as a plus b bracket bracket a square minus a b plus b square bracket then over from here, a, b is common, so we'll take a, b out of bracket, then a square, b, divided by a, b, it is a, plus a, b square, divided by a, b, it is b, bracket is equal to 7 over 6. Then, in the next step, from here, a plus b is, we'll cancel this a plus b, so it will be this, which is a square minus a, b, plus b square over a b is equal to 7 over 6. Then from here we'll cross multiply. So it will be 6 
times this so 6 times a square it is 6 a square 6 times negative a b is negative 6 a b plus 6 times b square is 6 b square is equal to 7 times a b is 7 a b then it will be 6 a square minus 6 a b will take this 7 a b to this side so it will be minus 7 a b plus this 6 b square is equal to 0 it will be 6 a square minus 6 a b minus 7 a b is minus 13 a b then plus 6 b square is equal to 0 now from here we'll make in form of a quadratic equation so as we can apply quadratic formula so we'll multiply in both sides divide by b square so here we'll multiply times 1 over b square and here times 1 over b square so it will be 6a square over b square so 6a square over b square then minus 13 a b this b will cancel this square so it will be a over b so here a over b then plus b square will cancel this b square so it will be plus 6 is equal to 0 times 1 over b square it is 0 then in here it will be 6 here a square over b square is the same as a over b bracket square minus 13 a b plus 6 is equal to 0 then in the next step from here we can apply quadratic formula to find the values of a over b so from quadratic formula to find the values of a over b is equal to the quadratic formula is in the form of minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so it will be a over b is equal to minus b b is this negative 13 so bracket negative 13 plus or minus square root of b square it will be this negative 13 bracket square then minus 4 times a a is 6 times c c is 6 then over 2 times a a is 6 so from here it will be a over b is equal to negative 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 13 to be positive 13 plus or minus square root of negative 13 square to be positive 13 square it is 169 then minus 4 times 6 is 24 24 times 6 so 24 times 6 here it will be 24 goes to 12 12 plus 2 is 14 so 144 then over this time this is 12 so it will be a over b is equal to 13 plus or minus square root of this minus this 9 minus 4 here it will be 5 16 minus 14 it is 2 then over 12 then it will be a over b is equal to 13 plus or minus square root of this is 5 then over 12 so from here we have two solutions so it will be first a over b first solution is equal to 13 plus 5 is 18 so it will be 18 over 12 here to simplify by 6 it is 3 by 6 is 2 and the other solution here to be a over b is equal to 13 minus 5 it is 13 13 minus 5 it is 8 so it will be 8 over 12 now here divide by 4 it is 2 divide by 4 it is 3 so it will be 2 over 3 then from here now we'll call the values from this values of a over b this solution and this solution we'll call for the value of a and b now before we let here a it is 2 power of x b is 3 power of x so from a a is 2 power of x over b 
is 3 power of x is equal to 3 over 2. Now, this power of x is common, so it will be 2 over 3, then bracket power of x is equal to, and here we we'll make 2 over 3, this is 3 over 2, so it will be 2 over 3 bracket power of negative 1. Now, when you compare here, we have same base, so we'll compare the powers, so it will be x is equal to negative 1. So this is the first solution for the value of x. And from here, this second solution, a, a it is 2 power x over b is 3 power x is equal to 2 over 3. Then from here, power of x is common, so it will be 2 over 3. Then bracket power of x is equal to 2 over 3. Now, we have same base of 2 over 3, 2 over 3. This is same as bracket power of 1. So we'll compare these powers. So it will be x is equal to 1. So this is the other solution. So our conclusion, x is equal to positive or minus 1. So this is our final answer. We have two solutions. For the value of x is 1 and negative 1. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these tips to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.